Today, I'd like to talk about how, for many years, diamonds were worn as adornments in their untouched natural form. Because of the unparalleled hardness of diamonds, people in ancient times were unable to polish them. Last summer, I visited the British Museum, where I had the chance to see a collection of rings dating back from 3rd century ancient Rome. These 1,700-year-old rings were set with diamonds in their untouched natural form. Here is an example of the style of these ancient diamond rings. This piece is actually a ring that was recently made here in Japan that copies the design of the ancient Roman rings. The tip of the octahedron is exposed, and we can see that each surface of the diamond is different. This is a very unique and beautiful ring. Even into the 15th century, rings were being set with unpolished diamond octahedrons. This ring I am wearing is styled after one such ring. In fact, methods to polish diamonds were discovered by the late 1300s, but the polishing techniques of the 14th century were still very basic. Because well-shaped natural diamond octahedrons were very popular at the time, the octahedral point cut was developed to copy their appearance and polishing was generally limited to fixing the shapes of poorly formed diamond octahedrons. People of the time believed that diamonds had mystical powers that would be lost if they were cut or polished, and diamonds with a natural, well-formed octahedral shape were very highly prized. These were extremely popular, but of course only the nobility and the very wealthy could afford them. For the general population, rings were made of glass set in bronze to mimic a diamond octahedron set in gold. Such bronze rings have been recovered from diggings along the River Thames. I have seen some of these actual bronze rings and can imagine that they must have been quite popular at the time. Also, because of its exceptional hardness, a sharply pointed diamond octahedron could be used to etch letters in glass, and it is said that this led to them being called writing stones. To me, this diamond's untouched shape is a reminder of the forces of nature that created it, and I find this ring very comforting to wear.